Hello and welcome to this very brief intro into using Atom and Protorepl for closure development. Um, I've already created a project just using Liningen, um, so I've created a project using uh, Line New Playground Atom, which has created this uh, project called Playground Atom, and it's created all these uh, files for me here as well. So I'm going to load these all up into uh, the Atom editor so we can start working with them. Um, so I can use this uh, open project on the welcome guide. There's also uh, uh, control shift and A will also add a project to there as well. So it'll bring up your uh, file manager dialog. So I'm going to open this playground atom file. And it's the file that's got the project.clj file in for, for lining and project, uh, which is what we're using. So click OK and this should add it to... Um, uh, there we go. Uh, add this to Atom, and you can see we've got the project.clj file in there. I'm just going to get rid of the welcome screen, we don't need that anymore. There we go. And uh, I've also got source files, etc., into here as well. Um, one thing we need to do before we start with Atom is to add a, an extra dependency. At the moment, we've got a dependency on Clojure, in this case, version 1.8. <coughs> We need to add a dependency uh, into here for uh, for Atom Proto-REPL itself, so it can talk to the REPL. Uh, so if we go back to our web page, we can find the library we want uh, called Proto-REPL in Clojars, which is this repository for uh, where all the Clojure libraries live. So we're just going to get the uh, the version and the syntax we need to be able to uh, add a dependency to our project. And there are other uh, kind of methods there as well. So let's go back to Atom, and we're just going to paste that in, <coughs> and uh, we can save that file now. So that's the only thing you need to do specifically for Atom and Proto Repl, <coughs> and now we can start a Repl. So typically, you could start from you start Repl from the project closure file, uh, but I'm going to open the source file specifically. And this is a default template that uh, was used to create the project, so there's not an awful lot in there, but it will work. It will run a REPL. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can open up the command palette. We can do Control shift p and we can do re uh, proto -repl. And this has got all of the kind of like the proto uh commands under here as well. Uh, so using this toggle, we want to toggle the REPL on in this case, and we can also use uh, Control, Comma, and L to do the same thing. So we're just going to use this uh, from the command line, and it brings up another window in here. Um, it's giving us some instructions on how to use the REPL, like how to execute a buffer, etc., uh, how to execute a statement. So we'll come back to those in a moment. Uh, and it started up. Um, uh, our project, everything's working, so we can actually type in some code into the to the REPL window. Just do a very simple little calculation, and to evaluate it, we just press Shift and Enter, and it gives us the results. This is the namespace we're currently in, which is just the default user namespace. So we're not actually in the the namespace of the project yet. So we have a namespace in this project called Playground-Atom.core. So the core represents the file part of this uh, project, so it's everything that's defiled in this core file. And um, uh, the Playground Atom is the is a directory that this file is under, so you can see it's under Playground Atom. So if we wanted to work with the functions in this in this uh, namespace, then we should uh, change that namespace, and the way we do that is by evaluating uh, this particular expression. So if we do uh, control, uh, press control and comma and then press B, it will evaluate um, that expression. Uh, and now instead of being in the user namespace, we're now in the playground atom namespace. Um, and so we can uh, call things uh, uh, in that environment. So press shift enter again 
and and we're actually calling the foo function here. So we've got this def foo function we've just called because it's in our playground atom .core namespace. Uh, we get the value result here nil, but uh, it's actually what it's doing is printing out a statement into the REPL. So it's basically going print atom, which is the argument, and then hello world is just joining those together. Uh, we can also evaluate uh, here as well, doing the same thing that we just did. Uh, so we can evaluate the block by doing control, comma, and then pressing B, uh, and uh, it will then it's evaluated foo. So if I wanted to change something like I wanted to change this to str, uh, which joins two strings together, um, then I can go in and do control comma B again, and it reevaluates it. So this time it's going to use a slightly different uh, implementation. Uh, and I can I could also go in so I could call it again inside the REPL window or I can actually call it in I can actually just type in the command here and it's showing me the the um, uh, the document document string for this function as well and I can give it an argument uh, Uh, and then I can again do uh, control comma B to evaluate it and this time it, it's sending it to the REPL but it's also sending it uh, it's also displaying it in line as well and uh, so you've got a choice of how you want to uh, see the results um, if you uh, when you're finished uh, or uh, if you if you make a mess you can press clear and that will clear the display of the REPL and when you've actually and you can go through the history of the um, functions you sent to the REPL so anything you evaluate will be in this history uh, and then when everything's done you can go off and press uh, uh, the quit REPL or do control alt comma and then E to end the REPL and there we go and then close that down uh, I hope you found that useful thank you very much for listening goodbye